I'm going to stream some more Dark Souls 3. Um, as you know, it's been a while, at least um, maybe a month since I last streamed. The reason being is that now I have reached the, a point in the game where, where um, I wanted to show it off to you. So I'm still, I'm still pre uh, New Game Plus, but I am work, working my way up there. Uh, you might notice this, purchase add-ons. The reason for that is because they recently announced the, uh, the first Dark Souls 3 um, DLC. Uh, which comes out on October 25th, and I'm looking forward to that a lot. Um, anyways, let's get to our character. So we are at the end of the game. I just recently beat the final main boss in this game. So now um, we're going to go meet that motherfucker and kick his ass. So, yeah. So we are going to travel there right now. So... First we went to the Flameless Shrine, which, and then you can go here, so there's really no reason to go here unless you want to see the Dark Room. Actually, let's just do that just to show it in the stream. It's not a big deal, but, you know. Yeah, it's just the dark, it's just the middle of the Dark Room. Um, now, unfortunately, you can't go anywhere this time because everything has been caved in. There's only one way you can go, which is up there. And there's the light from the eclipse. And that's where you need to go, way the fuck over there. Um, so how do you get there? Um, there's only one way. They conveniently have put this sword here. Now, I think the reason why this looks different is because this is the world as it really is. I feel like the rest of the game was just an illusion, and this is really what was what everything looks like. It looks like the Kinlan. So this will warp you over there. Now there is some other stuff I want to do before I beat before I actually beat the game and I'll I'll get some of that. Um, but we are getting close to uh, the new game plus stuff for sure. But I'll show you what else I want to do in this world before I move on. So this is the kindling of the first flame. Um, There are a lot of summon signs, but one summon sign in particular I want to summon is Yuria. Because Yuria, if you summon Yuria to help you, um, if you summoned her for the final boss, you can get her armor set. Now remember, Yuria was the character that was just, that that's basically just around just for this ending of the game. Now, the second person I want to summon is probably this. This guy looks cool. Anyone with a huge weapon probably does a lot of damage, a lot more than I do, so. We'll wait for that. I haven't gone in just yet, so. So, that guy right there is actually um, Lord Gwyn. Oh. He has an actual uh, voice thing. That's cool. That's about. All right, let's let's get it started. So this is the final battle in this game. We are fighting the killing of the first flame, or soul of Cinder. And it looks like everyone is just hanging back while I am. It is appropriate that he's fighting you with a uh, coiled sword. I'm going to use power with him to do something. 
hardcore damage. And looks like I did none at all. Does quite a bit of damage. Do I still have power within? Actually, I don't think power within lasts very 